Hiya, hope you're having a wonderful day. So I wanted to share a few little Doctor Who theories that have been gathering in my mind since the last, you know, the last series has came out. Um, spoilers, by the way, in case you haven't seen the episodes yet. They're great, by the way. Um, but spoilers f for them. Um, also, there's a few other of these ideas on YouTube, but I just wanted to give my own take. So it basically goes as the person who is who I think is Ruby's father or mother is the trickster. Now, this is something a lot of people see to seem to agree with because they look like the trickster. They have the hood and in Space Babies, when the memory changed, you saw a skeletal hand. So to me, that's pretty good proof that that's the trickster. And I also think that the trickster is probably also the one who waits because when you think about it, the whole purpose of the trickster is he waits till there's a moment um goes in changes changes time changes things causes chaos and that's how he gets his power and what has he been waiting for he's been waiting for an opportunity for there to be the most chaos and this is now where the, you know in in wild blue yonder where 14 did the salt at the edge of the universe and let all the supernatural stuff in and all the chaos has came in this is the perfect time for him that also you know that caused all chaos and he's literally like a god of chaos so that let him come in and um now ruby i'm not i'm not too sure about i do think she's some she obviously has connections to the trickster now just because she was a baby put on a doorstep doesn't necessarily mean she's the trickster's child but obviously she has connections to him or it i guess um so i do think um she's definitely created or linked created by him or linked to him some way and also when in the episode two when maestro also, I'll get onto them and um, them things in a minute. When she mentioned about the great old one, saying, "Oh, he couldn't have been there," and how can her song have so much power? I think the trickster, and um, that's definitely a reference to the trickster, saying how Ruby's related to him somehow. And now let me get onto the other bit, which is how it's all been building up to like this these pantheon of gods like we saw the toy maker come back now we've seen his child and russell t davies said that the toy maker he's in it isn't even the most powerful of them like he's probably pretty low on the sc power um scale as part of the pantheon and well we saw in the giggle all the chaos he could do so I'm really excited to see how the Doctor's going to beat all of them. But I think what they... And this is this is a pretty obvious connection to me, but if you've seen the old series the and the Sarah Jane Adventures, the trickster, it's part of the pantheon of Discord. Don't worry, not real Discord. Like, basically a pantheon of gods of chaos. And the Doctor keeps, you know, going about gods and pantheon of gods, so which um, the Trickster and the Toymaker and Maestro are all a part of. And I think that's obviously meant to be the pantheon of Discord. And what I think will happen is, there's last episode... I can't remember if the last episode of this season is meant to be called if it's the Empire of Death or Legend of Ruby Sunday, but I think it'll be revealed that Ruby is, you know. And also, another little thing that nobody seems to have noticed, in Boom, when the ambu weird ambulance thing read Ruby's age, it said 
3,800 years old, even though we saw her as a baby and she's meant to only be only meant to be like 19, 20. So obviously there's something special going on with her. Um, but I think it will be maybe in The Legend of Ruby someday it will be revealed that, you know, she's half god or whatever. She's, And I think in The Empire of Death, that's when we'll get to meet the pantheon of gods. I don't know how many, um, because, you know, Empire of Death, I guess would be more like Empire of Chaos, but could also be considered an Empire of Death because... You know, all the tricks they wanted to do is cause chaos and destroy everything. Maestro wanted to wipe out all the life so she could listen to her weird, relaxing nature sounds. <laughs> and um, the toy maker is the, um, he's kind of a, a god of death as well because he'll just destroy anything he wants um, to be entertained. So I don't know if he'll, it'll be really cool if we got to see all of them. Um, and the old, and the toy maker as back as well, but I don't I don't think we'll see that. It'll probably be revealed about the. Also, I don't know if this is like going through the whole series because I think that the whole season of this Doctor is like, you know, all the supernatural things are coming in. It's building up to the reveal with Ruby and the trickster and this pantheon of gods and everything so i don't know if we'll see it at the end of this season but that sounds a bit like we'll get to see the pantheon or at least some of it or maybe at least the trickster so yeah that's my main theories you probably heard similar things on youtube but that's my take is that ruby is related to the trickster half trickster maybe she was created by him to cause chaos um that would make sense because she's already caused chaos with the whole butterfly effect thing and um other stuff so yeah definitely that ruby is related to the trickster somehow her parent or at least the person we got to see was the trickster and that the pantheon of gods is the it's it's just the pantheon of discord from the old classic series so yeah that's my little Doctor Who theories. If anybody watches this, let me know what you think. I can't wait for um, 73 Yards, by the way, on Saturday. That will be really good. And um, the rest of the series, I can't wait. It looks great so far. But yeah, have a wonderful day. Alonzi, Geronimo. <laughs>